Welcome to the video, everyone. We are going to be working with writing rules for function tables. So these questions will be giving a table of values, and we're going to write a rule or an equation for it. So although you could do guess and check for all of these, right? I could plug values of x into these equations and see which one gives me all of the proper values of y out. That's not what we want to do here. We want to actually be able to find or write the rule. So in order to do this, I need to first find the slope. So if you remember, the slope is y2 minus y1. So the change in the y's, the rise, over x2 minus x1, the change in the x's, the run, rise over run. So you can pick any two points here. Uh, I'm just going to pick the first two because, I don't know, maybe easiest. Um, but you can pick any two technically. So I'm going to label this my first x, so x1, my first y, y1, that's a point, right, x1, y1. And the second one, I'll label my second x, x2, and my second y, y2. So I have two points, like I said, you could pick any of them, put them into this slope formula. So for this one, it's going to be negative 23 minus negative 51. So negative 23 minus minus, that just becomes a plus. So negative 23 plus 51 on top. And x2 minus x1 would be 2 minus 6 on the bottom. So on the bottom, I will have 2 minus 6 is negative 4. On top, I'm going to have negative 23 plus 51, which is a positive 28. So 28 divided by negative 4, we know is negative 7. So our slope has to be negative 7. So it narrows it down to these two. Right? The next part of this you have to find is the y-intercept. Now you could put it into point-slope form, or we can just think about how slope works. So in order to get to a y value of zero, I'd have to also get to an x value of zero. So if I want to put a zero in here, that would be going down two, right? This one, if it's going down seven and going over one, I want to go down or over two, sorry, over two, I need to go down two times seven, 14. So if I'm going over two here, this is going to be going down seven for each unit. It's going to be going down 14 here, right? So if I do negative 23 plus 14, because 14 over this negative two that it's going down would be a negative slope, is going to be negative nine. So negative 7x minus 9 should be our answer. All right, let's do the same thing for this one. Which equation gives the rule for this table? Let's call this, I'm going to pick a different two points. Um, I don't know, we'll stick with these. We'll go x1, y1, x2, y2. So our slope is y2 to negative 58 minus y1, negative 22, over x2 minus x1. So the bottom here is easier, right? 9 minus 3 is six. We have negative 58 minus a negative, so that means plus 22. Negative 58 plus 22 is negative 36. And negative 36 divided by six is negative six. So we definitely need a negative six as our slope. Um, now again, so if we're at three here, let's say we go over three to zero. We're going to the left three, so it's negative three to get to zero. Each one of these 
right, is going to be going six each time. So three times six, that would be going up 18. Well, what's negative 22 plus 18? Negative four. So at zero, it should be negative four. So negative four should be our y-intercept. We should get y equals negative 6x minus 4. All right, same idea. Which equation gives the rule for this table? So let's start by finding our slope. Um, let's go x1, y1, x2, y2. So our slope is going to be y2, 12, minus y1, negative 12, over x2, 5, minus x1, negative 3. So on top, minus the negative becomes plus again. So 12 plus 12 is 24. And on the bottom, negative, negative becomes positive. 5 and 3 gives us 8. So 24 divided by 8 has a positive three as its slope. So it's one of these two options. All right, so let's think about this. If this is at five, and I want to go to the left, so that's a negative, um, five spaces to get to zero. So that's a negative five that I'm going. Each one that it changes, it changes by three. So I'd have to go down because negative, negative would make it positive. So if I go down 12, or sorry, 3 times 5, that's 15. If I go down 15, 12 minus 15 is going to put me at negative 3. So 0, negative 3. So I need this y-intercept of negative 3 and the slope of 3, which is this one here. All right, which equation gives the rule for this table? Um, let's switch it up. Let's call this, just to prove that you can, right? You can pick any two points. So I'm going to call this second point my x1, y1, and the third point my x2, y2. So if I want to find the slope, m, it's y2, 23, minus y1, 37, over x2, 4, minus x1, which is 6. So 23 minus 37 is negative 14. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Negative divided by a negative is positive. So it's positive 7. So positive 7 is my slope. So it leaves us with one of these. So for this one, if I go to the left, negative 1 from 1, that would put me at 0. And I would have to go down because negative, negative would make it positive. Go down 7, 2 minus 7 would put me at negative 5. So negative 5 is my y-intercept. So 7x minus 5. All right, which equation gives the rule for this table? Um, let's do this. Let's say... Let's just go back to the original here, the x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, so we have slope equals negative 29, y2, minus y1 over x2, 4, minus x1, which is a negative 5. So negative 29 minus 16, so that's 39, negative 45. And on the bottom, negative, negative becomes positive. 4 and 5 is 9. 45 divided by 9, negative 45 divided by 9 is negative 5. So our slope is a negative 5. All right, so let's go to this one. If I go to the left two, so left two, that would put me at zero from two. And I would have to go up to make this a positive. So up five each time, that's up 10. 
So negative 19 plus 10 is negative 9. So at 0, it would be negative 9. So the y-intercept is negative 9. So my equation is going to be y equals negative 5x minus 9. Halfway there. All right, let's, uh, let's show one that's just guess and check. So which equation gives the rule for this table? If I have y equals negative 9x plus 4, I just pick the first answer choice. If I put these x values in for x, I should get the y values out for all of them. Let's make sure. So negative 9 times negative 6 plus 4. So that's negative 9 times negative 6 is 54. 54 plus 4 is 58, not 50. It can't be this one. If I go to this one, let's keep it down here. If I put a negative 6 in, that's negative 54 minus 4, negative 58, which I want 50, so it can't be that one. This one, if I put a negative 6 in, that would give me negative 54 plus 4, which is negative 50, also not 50. And this one, negative 9 times negative 6 is positive 54 minus 4 is 50. Now, we can check to make sure it works for all. Like, let's pick this 2. Negative 9 times 2 is negative 18. Negative 18 minus 4, negative 22. It will work for all of the values. So we could do guess and check and get this value down here. All right, which equation gives the rule for this table? Let's go back. Um, let's call this, let's switch it up here, x1, y1, x2, y2. We can even go reverse order. As long as you stay consistent with your pairs, it doesn't matter. The slope stays the same everywhere on the line. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So negative 7 minus 9 is negative 16. 1 minus 9 is negative 8. Negative, negative becomes positive when I divide it. 16 over 8 is 2. So I'm looking at these two here with a positive 2 slope. If I go to the left one to get to 0, I would have to go down, because I would need another negative here, down 2, which negative 7 minus 2 would be negative 9. So I need the y-intercept to be negative 9. So we're at this one. All right, what, which equation gives the rule for this table? Let's do another slope one. Let's do, let's do x1, y1, and we'll even skip one this time. Let's go x2, y2. So our slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 62 minus 53 is 9. 6 minus 5 is 1. 9 over 1 is 9. So our slope is 9. So we're looking at these two equations. We at least narrow it down. Um, from this one, if I would go to the left 5, that would give me the 0. 5 minus 5 would give me the 0. I would have to go down because negative, negative would make it positive. So go down 5 times 9, which is 45. So 53 minus 45 is going to be positive 8. So I need this one with the positive 8 as my one intercept. All right, let's do another guess and check. So if I put a 3 in for x, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5, not the negative 13 that I'm looking for. If I put a 3 in here, 3 times 3 is positive 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. Positive 13, though, not what I'm looking for. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 4 is 5. Also not what I'm looking for. 
negative three times three, if I put a three in, is negative nine. Negative nine minus four is negative 13. So this looks like it. I can also check other numbers, right? If I put a one in, negative three times one is negative three. Minus four is negative seven. It does work for every value. All right, and our last one, which equation gives the rule for this table? Let's just go back to the traditional x1, y1, x2, y2. So we have slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We have 25 minus 19 is 6, 7 minus 5 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay. Now, let's just show you one point slope. So point slope is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So if I put my x1, y1, and m in to this equation, I get y minus y1, which was 19, equals my slope times x minus x1, which is 5. I can distribute the 3. Let's put it over here. So y minus 19 is going to equal 3x. And 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Add the 19 over, and I get y equals 3x, negative 15 plus 19 is a positive 4. So 3x plus 4 should be this one. So we have three different options there. Get some check. Um, by the worst of the options, we could just use the slope to find the y-intercept, or we can put it in that point slope form. Thanks for joining me. That was write a rule for a function table. Good luck in your next lesson.